In vision earlier today, I was in a room filled with storage items, boxes, containers, old worn-out furniture, and other miscellaneous clutter. I observed a brother sitting in a chair, facing towards one side of a very high pile of discards and boxes. On the other side of this huge pile, there was Jesus, also sitting in a chair with his hands in his face. The Lord appeared to be very sad, and his downcast demeanor tugged at my heart. I was overcome with sorrow and momentary grief. I saw what looked like beautifully wrapped gifts in the Lord's lap, just waiting to be opened by my brother on the other side of the junk pile. But it appeared that he didn't know how to remove the boxes between he and Jesus. He just sat there, staring at the clutter. I cried out to him and said, The Lord will forgive you. Go to him. He's waiting for you just on the other side. Reach out to him, brother. Tell Jesus how much you love him and want to be with him. Do it now, brother. Do it now. He has gifts for you. My brother didn't move. He couldn't hear me. So I sank to my knees and prayed. Father in heaven, I pray against every spirit of blockage and barriers. Break any barrier that blocks my brother and I from being close to you. Remove it now in the name of Jesus. Lord, my brother desires to spend time with you. Help him to draw near to you and see you clearly. God, you reward those who diligently seek you. Give brother the diligence to pursue you with great passion and perseverance and to put you first in every decision, to pray continually throughout the day, looking for opportunities to serve you and to understand what you want for his life. We thank you, Lord, that you have heard us, and we can do all things through you. Guide us into all truth and anoint the works of our hands, serving you and others. We praise and glorify you, Lord God. Amen. Jesus began, In prayer, your faith will move from the realm of religion into a true relationship with me. There is no other habit like prayer that can really transform your walk with me into a deep, personal sense of fellowship. Prayer will also energize your heart, and my spirit will move through you. Your brother is one of countless in my flock who are in desperate need of my company. Praying while guarding your time with me and interacting with other like-minded heart dwellers will accelerate our relationship. Being humble, loving, and serving others, and confessing your sins one to another moves my precious ones in my direction. Showing gratitude for all I have provided each of you with is another essential emotion in growing our fellowship. Remember, it's by my grace and not by your works that you are saved. I have given you all the power to choose what you want. For you to draw closer to me, you must have a desire and a resolution within you to do so. When you achieve that, my spirit will come flooding in and fan the flame until being with me is all you want to do. Obey my commands and never tire of seeking me, and the fullness of my love and goodness will overwhelm you. Continue to dwell in my presence and in my word, and I will continue to reveal to you deep and secret mysteries. You will start to change through the help of the Holy Spirit, and in this way our resemblance will become clearer, and you will adopt my ways, values, and attitude. To balance out life's challenges and trials, you will be given the grace to ask for my help instead of trying to figure out complications on your own. Don't get distracted. 
Instead, feed upon my word and call out to me, and you will be nourished by my love and light flowing through you. You will also develop a deeper awareness of my presence. Stay away from the destructive nature of sin. It will take you away from me. Seek me actively and don't relent. It is not something you pursue once and then you don't have to do it again. Seek me every day, and soon being with me will become as vital as the air you breathe. I love you and am here waiting for you. In Jeremiah 29.13 we read, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Amen.